What's going on guys, it's Adonis, and today I'm doing an unboxing and a setup of what might just be the best iPhone bumper there is. Now before we get started, huge shout out to Evolutive Labs for sending me their Rhino Shield products, their crash guard bumper case, and their screen protector, and their back protector for the iPhone 7 Plus. Let's get into it. So first things first, let's talk about the crash guard bumper case. Um, Rhino Shield is actually touting that it is shock spread technology absorbs impacts of at least 11 feet. Damn! Does that mean that it's shock protected uh, more than 11 feet? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not gonna test that, but we're gonna turn it over and take a look at what it's saying. Exceeds military drop test standards, easy to grip material, it's lightweight, reinforced corners, slim profile. I can actually attest to this because I had it on my 6S Plus and it's recyclable, so that's pretty cool. Um, one of the cool things that makes their cases uh, different from some of the other cases um, is their honeycomb structure. And if you go on their website, they actually go into uh, this uh, you know, formula, uh, formula that they actually created for the polymer and the honeycomb uh, structure is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So we're gonna try to keep this as neat as possible. So this is it. Um, and we have here um, drop protection at least 11 feet. What does it look like? So if you were to shoot it into a basketball goal, that's what they're saying we should do. I'm not gonna try that one. And this is the bumper. Uh, it's extremely lightweight. The feel is, a, it feels like a little bit more rugged or a little more sturdy than the previous generation. But I actually still really like it. And one thing I did like about the last one that I had was the button feel. Um, once it's on the phone, it feels really sturdy and it has a nice snap feel to it. Um, but you have the Rhino Shield logo there. Rhino Shield, you see the honeycomb structure inside, um, which is really cool. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side for now. And then this is the uh, back protector. And we're just gonna open this up. Now it's easy to clean, anti-fingerprint, scratch resistant, impact dispersion impact dampening, high strength, and zero residue adhesive. And this is a six layer um, protector. So this is pretty cool. So this will actually protect the back of my phone because if you look at the bumper, it is exposed, which is cool. And also like an idiot, this was on the side over here. So this is the screen protector for the iPhone 7 Plus. I thought I had one, I just didn't know where I put it, but it's here as well. Um, and it's actually the same exact six layers of protection system that they have on their back plate. So we're gonna put this on the phone and get our first impressions. So here it is guys, this is what it looks like uh, in, it, in all of its Rhino Shield glory. Um, this is the screen protector here. It does not have a matte finish. I'm not a fan of matte finish screen protectors. This one's a complete clear screen protector, which looks really good on it actually. Um, I love how the bottom kind of comes around almost the full uh, circumference of the circle. Um, some of the other ones that kind of do a U, I don't like uh, just how it looks. So I prefer the look of this one a lot more. The cutouts up here though, um, they don't really fully line up. Um, if you are putting this on by yourself, um, like I did, um, you know, the results are gonna vary depending on how patient you are and you know, how meticulous you are with it. Um, mine didn't line up uh, perfectly. And even when I try to line this up with this, it was still a little crooked on the screen. So, you know, keep that uh, in mind when you put yours on that the results of the screen protector look will vary depending on application. Now the actual case itself, um, I like a lot and it almost feels exactly like the 6S Plus uh, one that Rhino Shield uh, makes. And it has a little round curve here and it actually feels really comfortable in the hand. So um, if you're used to the larger phones, this actually feels easier to hold because of how it's curved and how it sits in your hand. So I like that a lot. Now coming to the back. Um, this is where I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep this on or not. Mainly being this little area here, you have these air bubbles that are around the Apple logo. Since the Apple logo doesn't necessarily sit um, flush with the body, you have this kind of air bubble thing going on inside of here and it's bugging the hell out of me. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll keep this on. Um, I'm still up in the air about it, but I'll let you know uh, at the end of the week if I decide to keep this on or not. Also, it has a anti-fingerprint uh, kind of layer or easy to clean anti-fingerprint layer. 
um, but you can see like it fingerprints, it marks up really, really fast. Um, just as, not as fast without it, but it's still you know noticeable. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep that um, on or not, but I, like I said, I'll let you guys know. But overall, I like it. You know, it's, it's a, a nice little combination of protection. Um, I will see what I can do as far as putting together a little mini drop test with this. I, I'm really, really nervous about dropping any of my devices since I don't have a ton of money to buy multiple devices. So, um, you know, if this gets a certain amount of likes, certain amount of views, I will consider doing a cool drop test with this device. But let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you guys want me to test on this or just observe over the next week um, before I do my actual final thoughts and review of this bumper. Well, that's gonna do it for my unboxing and setup of the Crash Guard Rhino Shield by Evolutive Labs. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what your thoughts are and what you would like me to cover in the review. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna wanna do that. Hit that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna check out my last unboxing, link will be right here. All right, guys, until next time. See you later.